Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope we're all doing well. My name's Jenny and I'm a Youth Services Librarian with Surrey Libraries. Welcome to today's STEM activity. Now World Oceans Day was on June 8th, but it's still June, so we're going to do an experiment that relates to the oceans and the environment. We're going to look at how scientists and environmentalists clean up after oil spills. There's a few items that you need, most of which can be found in your house, and then a couple of bonus things that you can try out if you want. So the things that you absolutely need are some kind of pan. You can use a disposable foil pan, or you could just use a regular baking pan. You're going to need vegetable oil. Don't worry, you don't need this much. You're going to need some dish soap. You're going to need some water. Obviously, if we're dealing with the ocean, we're going to have some water. And then your things to experiment with, you can use cotton balls, you can use some paper towel, you probably do want some paper towel, you can use a spoon, and you can use anything else that you can come up with. All right, so you can gather your materials and then I'll show you what we're going to do with our experiment. All right, so we have all of our supplies ready and we're going to get started on our oil spill experiment. Now, obviously, the first thing we need to do is create our ocean that we're going to have our oil spill in. So we're going to take our um, tray here and we're just going to pour some water in. It really doesn't matter how much water you put in. But you do want to make sure that you have enough that you can see what's happening. All right, so we now have our ocean. And the next thing we're going to need is our oil spill. Now. Nobody spills oil into the ocean purposely, but in our case, we are, we're going to take our vegetable oil and we are going to pour some into our ocean. Now you can see that what you end up with is a big blob of floating oil on the water. Because of course, oil and water don't mix. They repel each other. They they don't, they don't want to become one. So now they're separate. And if we had this in our actual ocean, we would need to get rid of the oil because it could interfere with all of the wildlife. It can get in the bird's feathers, keep them from flying, all kinds of things like that. So we can't leave it as this big blob floating in the ocean. You may not be able to see this blob very well on the camera because it is almost the same color as the ocean. But if you do this at home, you will definitely be able to see. So how are we going to get rid of this? I challenge you to try, experiment, see what you can do. So you could try something like cotton balls. Stick them in, pick it up. I mean, it does get rid of some, but I still have a huge blob of oil. And can you imagine, this is just a little tiny bit. Can you imagine doing it in an oil spin in the ocean? Now, what about a spoon? Could I maybe scoop it up? I could try, but again, I get a little bit and I still have a big blob that forms in the middle. And it doesn't break up, it just stays as this big blob floating around. Now, I challenge you to try different things, see what you can do, if there is anything you can do to get this out and how long it would take. Then, we're going to try something akin to what the professionals do when they clean up real oil spills in the ocean. We're going to use some dish soap. Now, people do actually use dish soap on cle for cleaning animals, particularly birds, but usually they use different chemicals that are much stronger and produced in much bigger quantities. This little bottle of dish soap would not clear an ocean of oil. But for our experiment, we're going to use some dish soap. You're going to take your dish soap and you're just going to pour some right in the middle. And you see what happens is that all of the oil has been pushed away from the dish soap. That's because the oil and the dish soap also don't mix. But what it also does is the oil in gets broken up by the dish soap. So if we stir our dish soap around a little bit, now instead of having one big blob, we have lots of little pieces of oil. And once that's happened, we can break them up and they can get mixed in and in the real world, they could get washed away. Then the ocean would be safe for the animals again because there'd be no longer be a big clump of oil. 
So I encourage you to try this at home, see how it works. Experiment with different amounts of dish soap. See how just putting a little bit in works. See how putting a lot in works. And then if you can find some, go and watch some videos on how real life rescues happen and what they use to actually clean up oil in the real world. All right, have fun experimenting. That's this week's STEM activity for you on how to clean up oil and how to get the molecules to separate using just some ordinary dish soap. Enjoy!